Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Happy Wednesday. When this video is coming out, you guys are going to have an at-home workout for a full upper body. And today I'm going to be with It's Barbie! <laughs> um, so she's actually one of the trainers at Ace Fitness. That's how I met her, and she has the probably one of the most inspiring stories. But I'm not gonna tell you guys about that because you guys should just follow her and keep up with her at official Beast Barbie, and I'll keep all her <laughs> yeah on Instagram. I'll put all her information down below, so make sure to check her out. She has amazing workouts, um, inspiring stories, clients that she's just changed their lives. So today, what we're gonna be working out with is literally just a towel and your body and your upper body. <laughs> much about all the workouts or six workouts that we're gonna be put seven up six uh, six workouts that we're gonna be doing and uh, we're also gonna maybe talk about form if there's certain workouts that require you to pay attention to form. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Alright, so like she said we're gonna be running through a 30-20-10 that's what we do over at Ace Fitness but this is gonna do is just going to raise that heart rate get you in like a fat burning zone and it's just gonna warm up your body. Everything today doesn't really require uh, much effort, but it does um, put a little bit of tension on those muscles. So we just want to make sure that they're all nice and warm. Um, you also can go through whatever's comfortable for you for dynamic stretching or moving stretching. Um, but first things first, let's start with the warm up. So we're going to do 30 jumping jacks, 20 pop squats, jump squats, and then 10 burpees. So it's going to look like this. So we'll have 30 jump jacks. Oops, I'm not the camera. Okay, 30 of those. The pop squats, you can either go here and just jump up, or you can go here. Okay, so we're gonna do 20 of those. And then everybody's favorite for me. So we'll go here, all the way down to the ground, come up, and then jump up. Now, it's your turn. So, you guys are all nice and warm. Uh, moving into the first exercise, what we like to call swimmers. So if you guys are familiar with a Superman, it's similar to that. Um, so we're hyperextending through the back, but we're gonna be alternating, lifting um, opposite leg, opposite hand. Literally like you are swimming. So Jazz got her back is hyperextending, so we're working on her core there. And then she's raising opposite hand, opposite foot. Keeping up the whole time, squeezing through the glutes, and keeping the best spine as neutral as possible, okay? So for this one, you're gonna do four rounds of one minute. All right, guys, so for the second workout, we're doing something similar, but now we're just really isolating the back. So if you wanna do it a little bit more advanced, you can bring up the lower legs as well, like for a Superman. If not, it's totally fine to keep your legs down and just work that upper back. So this one, you're gonna need a towel. You can have either a bath towel or a dish towel, it doesn't matter. And what you're gonna do is you're going to, again, hyperextend, raising through the lower back, and then bring your hands down, elbows into your side, put it back forward, and then drop it down. This is going to be four rounds of 20. Okay, so each exercise that we do, I want you guys to do the full rounds before moving on to the next one. All right, so for this next one, if you guys have um, anything that you can put your feet elevated on, so here we're actually spoiled, so we have a pile box. You guys can either you can do this using your couch, a step, um, anything you have, you guys can do a little bit elevated. Again, depending on your uh, fitness level, the higher up you go, the more difficult. So we're gonna stay pretty low with our step right here, but these are gonna be decline push-ups, okay? So what that's gonna do, she's gonna have her feet uh, closed on the box, and she's just gonna go straight into a push-up. Most important thing about push-up is that you want to pretty much make an arrow with your body. So her back is the straight part of the arrow, and her arms are the wings of the arrow. You never want to go straight out to the side. That's going to uh, potentially cause some pinching through the shoulder, and you do not want to do that. 
So making sure your body stays like an arrow. We're keeping that lower back up and tucked. Um, belly button to spine and going down. Now, for a modified version, you can actually put your knees up on the box or on your step and go that way to take a little bit off of your core and so that you can really work proper form. Either way is totally fine. On this one, we are again in these four rounds of 20. Trying to push yourself each round, seeing how many you can do without stopping or pausing. For this next exercise, we're gonna do some more push-ups. This one is gonna be in a downward dog position. So we're gonna go back to yoga, getting those hips up, feet are down. If you can, keeping your feet flat on the floor through this exercise. If your flexibility doesn't allow you, that's okay to have your heels up just a little bit. Most focus is keeping your knees back, head down, and then we're going to do literally our head to the ground. And we're going to push up, coming back up. Good thing about these push-ups is that you are in that yoga pose. So it does actually help stretch while you're working out. It's going to work those triceps, biceps, chest, shoulders and back. So this is a full upper body movement. Again, we're gonna go four rounds of 20, keeping that butt straight in the air. So this is actually one of my favorite variations of a push-up, if you guys notice. In this uh, whole workout, it's a lot of push-ups, but push-ups are essential for building upper body strength and also getting a nice toned, um, sleek muscular look up top, especially for females. So, this one's one of my favorites. It's a panther to a push up or a panther push up. So, what you're going to do is you're going to be in that bear crawl position. So, Jazz has her shoulders stacked over her wrists. She's actually going to go a little bit further back, not the traditional bear uh, crawl stance, only so she can shift her hips back. So she's gonna shift them back, 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 and then come up into that high plank to do her push-up. So again, shifting legs back, bending those knees, coming forward into that high plank, and then going into a push-up. This, in some situations, kind of relieves the shoulders, allows you to reset yourself so you're not just slamming push-ups back to back, but it also just works your full body and your Hey, you guys have made it through. We have one more exercise. Again, this is a full upper body work. Ideally, this is for core, but you're definitely going to be working your arms as well. If you want to add a little difficulty, grab like a small couch pillow and you'll have it actually on your back. I'll show you guys what I mean. Jazz is going to start off in a traditional plank. So she's going to be on her elbows, okay? Shoulders over elbows, keeping her butt down. And what she's going to do is she's going to alternate coming up onto her hands into a high plane and then going back down. Very simple movement, but it takes a lot of core strength. Now, where does the pillow come involved? All right. We would, insert the pillow, have a pillow on her back. What this is going to do is force her to not rock side to side. So it's gonna force her to keep a little bit more tension through her core and really focus on moving slow through the exercise as well as keeping that butt down. Because if she brings her butt up, the pillow will fall off. So you guys are gonna actually do this for one minute and you're gonna go four rounds. <laughs> I always suggest going a little bit slower, especially if you have that pillow on your back just to ensure that you are doing it properly and you're not rocking side to side. So, grab your pillow and see how many seconds you can go without stopping. Four rounds, one minute. All right guys, and that's it for today's video. I know I didn't really do much of the talking, but that's because I wanted Haley to um, inform you guys about a lot of things that each workout would help you guys build muscles on. Um, especially because knowledge wise, I'm still learning and I wouldn't want to give someone the wrong information or wrong form or wrong technique. Make sure to follow her so you guys can see how she's um, on her journey towards. Yes, so I will be entering my first 
uh, NPC Wellness Division bodybuilding competition this July. So definitely follow me at Official Beast Barbie. I just like showing people what that journey is on um, my weight loss as well as where I'm going with the bodybuilding uh, portion of my life. Um, you'll see a lot of rice cake in the shirt. <laughs> Merch. Okay. So, so make sure that, oh, Jazz has just uh, our simple, I call it the blueprint because it's the first one I pushed out. Um, t shirts. I have hoodies coming out when it starts to get warmer. We're going to have booty shorts, bathing suits, uh, lots of stuff. We even have a kids line for the little boots. So, uh, definitely check that out. It's happening with me. And make sure to put some. Uh, Info in the comments if you guys have any questions. Uh, Jazz will definitely be able to answer any of those or direct them towards me and we can get you guys uh, all set on your quarantine at home workouts. We will be coming back yeah. with some lower body at home workouts as well as in the gym workouts for those people who haven't got down to Ace Fitness yet or who are in a different state. So, tap in with us. And we'll see you guys next time. Oh, crap.